What's up, co-reporters, and welcome back to my channel. I've got some sad news for you, and it is about a former housewife from the Real Housewives of Potomac Star um, going to rehab. And so I don't believe that you're going to be surprised to find out who it is, but I, I do want to share it nonetheless because I do think that this is a serious topic, and I hope that it helps kind of shape the way that people speak about her online. Because I, you know, actually, as recently as today, I remember seeing someone referring to her online as crazy Katie. And it just makes me sad um, knowing all that she has been battling in her life in regards to mental health issues and um, emotionally abusive relationships and just, you know, um, substances abuse issues as well. So uh, Katie Ross, who was a beauty and a breakout star on season one of The Real Housewives of Potomac, just announced in a video that she would be going to rehab. I don't believe this is the first time that Katie has been in rehab. Um, so I do commend her for having the courage to go back and try again. Um, but I will let her kind of talk to talk about it. And then later on, we can talk together about what it is that she reveals in her actual video. Okay. So she initially posted it on her Instagram page, but she has since posted it onto her Twitter page as well. And that's where we're going to be watching this video from. So here it is from her official Twitter page. Okay. So I'm going to try to do this really quick. Uh, cause I've got 60 seconds, 60 seconds, because that's how long Instagram allows you to do something. Anyway, so I got a few really great questions. I'm gonna to try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, the reason that I am at NIH is for alcohol use disorder. I have been here before, I was here a year ago. Um, did really, really, really well for a long period of time and then um, had some stressors in my life this past month and things got a little out of control and I started drinking again. Um, was also went off of my medication, so that um, that caused some problems. And then, with the help of my friends and family, I got back to NIH. It is a rehabilitation program. They also do studies. I'm not doing a study here. I am getting rehab. I do have my phone. I'm doing great. I'm out of withdrawal, and um, things are looking good. So, okay. So I'm going to try to do this really quick. So there you go. You could actually even see a wristband on her left arm there from the rehab center that she is currently staying at. Um, you know, it's just so sad to hear that she had gotten clean. She was living on the straight and narrow. And then unfortunately, some things happened in her life that led to her relapsing and um, hitting the bottle again, so to speak. I really feel bad for her because, you know, I just remember loving her so, so much in the first season of the show. She just had such a light, um, a spark, and she was so funny to me, both intentionally and unintentionally in very cute ways. Um, she was super intelligent. I thought she was amongst the most intelligent women on the first season of that show. She knew how to read a girl down, like she was just everything. And so um, just to hear about the things that had been happening with her ex-husband, the videos that she had released about the nasty ways in which he would speak about her, some of the games that he would play with her in regards to their children. I think that those are sort of the things that led to a lot of the problems that we see her currently battling right now in her life. And it's just, it's painful. It really is to, to see someone so wonderful and with such a spark uh, go through something like this. And I just hope that this is it. Like, you know, when she completes this program, she will be able to truly, truly, truly never touch alcohol again. I'm really, I've got wood here. Um, on my desk. So I'm knocking on wood for her that that is the case because I really would love to see her make a comeback, not necessarily to television, but in general in life because um, outside of being a reality television star, she was a model, um, she was a philanthropist and whatnot. So I would love to see her get back into philanthropy and whatever else makes her happy at the end of the day and to be able to have more time with her kids, which I think is her ultimate goal and wish. Guys, um, please send all of your best wishes to Katie Ross from The Real Housewives of Potomac as she enters this new chapter in her life. Okay. Um, in the meantime, let me know what you think about all of this. And if you want to leave some well wishes, go ahead and leave them in the comment section as well. Take care guys. Bye.